Greetings, the Living Church of God. Once again, I welcome you back to Arare City East Church Youth Week of Prayer under the caption, Love is a Verb. I want to thank God, you know, for the time that he's given us to gather together once again as we study from his word. We are not moving away from the book of Mark. Yesterday, we read the book of Mark chapter 5, chapter 6, rather, verse 45. And today, we are reading verse 46, Mark chapter uh, 6, verse 46. Uh, maybe I'll read from verse 45 and then verse 46. And straight away he constrained his disciples to get into the ship and to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida, while he sent the people away. And when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. May the Lord add a blessing unto the reading of his word. The caption of our engagement even today is love and prayer. Remember, we are talking about love, and today we are looking at love and prayer. Now, the, the, the record from scripture is saying, when Jesus had sent the people away, he departed into a mountain alone to pray. Now, pause there and ask, who is he that is praying in this narrative? And the answer is, Jesus is praying. Oh, already there's a problem. How can Jesus pray? Why should he pray? And how could he pray? You know, you know, when you want to know about Jesus, maybe the point of departure is Jesus is the Son of God. Now, in verse 46, we have the Son of God praying. You know what it means to be the Son of God? And the Bible says he is the only begotten Son. So the only begotten of the Creator had time to pray. And the implication is this. His father owns everything. Not by manufacturing, not by buying. His father owns everything by creation. And to create is to bring something out of nothing. So his father is one who can bring all these things into existence. He said, let there be and there was. The, father, the son of one who is such important and powerful, he time to pray. Maybe, maybe let me ask you, my brothers and sisters, whose son are you to exempt yourself from prayer? If the son of God, if the son of the creator, he had time to pray. How busy are you for not to be praying? If prayer was important for Jesus, it is important here for me and it is important here for you. Jesus, the son of God, he had time to pray. And look at the narrative. Verse 45, he sent the people away so that he could have more time to pray. This is not a public prayer. This is not the prayers that we offer when we want to eat. These are not the prayers that we do when we want to sleep. This is a personal, private prayer. Jesus was found praying alone. In as much as he was the son of God, he had time to pray. If the son of God had time to pray, how much more the son of a policeman? How much more the son of a vendor? How much more me? The son of Mirasoko. If the son of God had time to pray, whose son are you and whose daughter are you for you not to pray? You know, we are worried and we, are, we don't understand how Jesus could love the unlovable. How Jesus could mingle with those that are social outcasts and stuff. He could love all men because he could spend time in prayer. Allow me to say, my brothers and sisters, you cannot love well if you don't pray well. Your love is parasitic, your love is fake, your love is not true when you don't have time to pray. Those who love well are those who pray well. Because prayer and love, these things are so unnatural of us, they only come from God. So Jesus could love us even in our sin because it's time to pray. The people in your life can be loved, the people around you can be loved. The challenge is the lover is not a prayer. If you are a prayer warrior, oh, la, la, there's not, nothing like that, prayer warrior, no. If you are a prayer person, let me say, then you can love better. Let's have people who are, you know, found in prayer so that they can love better. Let's look at the narrative. Who is he that is praying in verse 46? It's Jesus. And hitherto, we have identified Jesus as the Son of God. But theologians amongst us know that Jesus is not only the Son of God, but he's also God, the Son. Ah, there's a problem now. If we identify Jesus as God the Son, then verse 46 is saying, God had time to pray. 
if a God a time to pray, how much more a creator, a creature rather, if the creator a time to pray, how much more the creature? He is God himself, God the Son, and he had time to pray. Personally, in a private prayer corner, he was praying. If God the Son had time to pray, he is the creator. You read the book of John chapter 1. All the things that are made, nothing was made without him. So he's also the creator. So if the creator had time to pray, how much more the creature? My brothers and sisters, I'm reminding the church that our love cannot be true. It, it will only be true that day when we remember to love each other. Uh, it can only be true that day when we remember to pray even for each other, to pray for ourselves and to be a better people. Maybe, let me give you a bonus text. Uh, that is uh, Luke chapter, chapter 11. I, I love the text. It's talking about um, prayer and also, of also love. Luke chapter, chapter 11 verse 1, and it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. Now, now pause there. Now, now, now Jesus again is found in prayer. He is the son of God, the son of God who is found in prayer. He is God the Son, God the Son who is found in prayer. And, 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 and I have a question now. Do, do you see in Luke chapter 11 verse 1, who is supposed to be praying? Jesus is praying, God the Son and the Son of God, he's praying. And the disciples are just watching, hey, yeah, he's praying. This man prays now, ah, this one, ah, this one is serious with prayer. But, but we're supposed to be praying in this narrative. The disciples are the ones who are supposed to be praying. Because look at Jesus, he has no relatives in hospital. He has no trouble whatsoever. He has no challenges. He has no bills to pay. No rentals, no landlords, no headmasters. You name it. Yet he had time to pray. But you have got a multiplicity of challenges, multiplicity of ch problems, yet you don't pray. You have people who are so fake in your life, you don't pray. Jesus had time to pray. And, and the, 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 the question of the preacher is, the disciples are just watching him pray when they are the ones who are supposed to be praying. Even as young people today, this is the story of our lives. Haven't you heard people saying, even captioning, saying, it is the prayer of my mother that is keeping me going. I, I don't have a problem with your mother praying for you, but we're supposed to be praying here. I think it's now you who is supposed to be praying for her. I think it's now, thank God if she's praying for you, but also remember to pray for yourself. The disciples are watching Jesus praying. Are you not doing the same? You know, the, the disciples do not say, Lord, teach us how to pray. They said, Lord, teach us to pray. The how they knew, but prayer they didn't know. Even today, the people who are listening to me, they know how to pray. If they hear, hear you pray, they say, no, that's not how you pray. You are repeating, you know, you are shouting, you, you didn't read Mark chapter 6, you need to get into your private room and stuff like that. But you know what? You know how to pray, but when was the last time that you prayed? We want to talk about love, but the point of departure is prayer. We love better when we pray better. Maybe let me end by asking you, when was the last time that you prayed alone, seriously engaging your God? Maybe let me say this. If you have your prayer requests right now, number one, kneel down to pray. Pray on your own. Number two, look at the numbers that are on the screen or hit the WhatsApp button on your Facebook platform. Then you can send your prayer request. We have a praying people. The prayer band is ready to pray for you. But at the point of departure, remember to also pray for yourself. Are we together, church? So, uh, yeah, send your prayer request in. And, and, and if you're on WhatsApp, remember even to talk um, to, to, to the group admins. Uh, we can then channel your prayer request to the prayer band members. They're going to pray for you even this week. We want to have testimonies all unto the glory of God. But before we end, remember, we're talking about love and prayer. Love can only be a verb in our lives if prayer is a verb in our lives. Let's increase our prayer lives. Let's increase our prayer times. And let us have more time with our Lord our God. Let us pray together. Our Father and our God in heaven, we want to thank you for the example of Jesus. He, he loved us when we were in our sins. He loved us while we were yet sinners. And the reason why he was so loving is because he had time to pray. He had time to engage with divinity. Help us, our God, in our individual capacities to engage with you. To know that when we pray better, we love better. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to our channels. God bless you. Love is a verb.